Okay, so I've done a little bit of uh, fixing in this area. We should be good. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're in version two of the script now. Uh, I've tightened up the, hopefully I've tightened up the timings a little bit. Uh, I feel like there was this old commercial where it's like this blonde curly haired dude and then this lady comes up and she's like, hey, when are you guys going to be done testing this game? I need new games tested right now. It's like, oh, we're just going to tighten up the graphics on level three. That's what, that's what I feel like this is because I don't know if this is complicated, but it's, it's certainly more complicated than I really want to get into. Uh, but I basically, hopefully, made the timings a little better and made it a little easier for it to find the pixels. But I don't know if it's that much of an improvement. I've, I've improved the color variation value, which it will hopefully allow it to find the pixels it's looking for more easily. So, um, I got the game here, we're on week two. I, I seriously doubt it will break my high score, but I'm genuinely excited. So let's activate it, and uh, let's see how we do. It's not spooky month, but uh, I, I really enjoy the animation of Sir Pelo, who those characters. I don't know if he did the animation for this, probably not, maybe? I don't know. But um, as long as you turn the volume down a little bit, it, it's it's really good. I would say my favorite cartoon from him that isn't story time, like I guess the shorty ones, is uh, the uh, the Moki, <laughs> the the Moki Groovy and uh, Dolan Dylan for uh, <laughs> for for math, <laughs> where they're doing crystal math <laughs> to be smart. Oh. Maybe I'll link that in the description, I don't know. But <laughs> it's very, very funny. I also don't know if the sound samples that they're singing are from that. That would be cool. So I am excited for the next spooky month. Last spooky month was pretty good. It's amazing how something so simple can garner so much attention. And I, I think Sir Palo, uh, Sir Senor Palo deserves it. got a crazy afro. He's also very lenient about his stuff. He, he loves fan art, so draw him some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Make him a clay sculpture. <laughs> tell him how relatable he is, and don't forget to tell him a story about the school. <laughs> oh, we're at 50. All oh, right. I'm very happy about 69. Nice. Uh oh, 70, 75. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, we're already halfway to my score, and that's the first song. Uh... I don't know, maybe it'll beat it. Three, two, one, I don't like that it's just not responding between the levels. We need to fix your game. We need to fix your game that came out a while ago that you're making a real game of. Apparently you can find the source hub, uh, the source hub, the source code for this on GitHub, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they used any open source stuff when they made it, but it's a pretty cool thing to do to allow other people to uh, use your work and understand how this works in order to move on. The best way to learn, the best way I learn anyway is from example. So if you're interested in AutoHotKey at all, the, their, I don't know if it's their wiki, their documentation is very good and the forum has a ton, a ton of examples that people use all the time for things. Uh, AutoHotKey isn't the best language if you want to automate stuff necessarily. It's very easy to write in, which is why I, I, I like it. I wrote a cookie clicker script a while back to like buy all my stuff. Oh, I'm. Yeah. That's dependent on resolution, though, so it doesn't really work anymore. But it, it, it would click the cookie. It would uh, click the the bonus cookies. It clicked the fortune cookies, and it would just basically go through a, a list of buildings that I would like it to buy things from. So it would buy upgrades and everything. You know, it's not. It would. It's not smart, right? It would just sort of brute force it. But compared to just leaving like a single auto clicker in a single spot overnight. It was more efficient and would garner more cookies per second. So I'm, I'm kind of over cookie clicker at this point. I know he keeps adding stuff, but at some point it's just number go up. And I'd rather, you know, I'd rather just play RuneScape. I mean, you might have seen RuneLine on my desktop, so, you know. <laughs> All right. That was pretty good. Let's do another one, shall we? Let's do week three. Let's do, let's do Pico. I'm still waiting for Pico School 2. I'm still waiting. <laughs> Still waiting for Pico School too. Three, two, one, go. 
Has Tom Fulp even made a cartoon in the last, like, 20 years? I'm getting old. I don't know who made the music, but it's pretty good. I know you can, like, mod this and put in your own music or whatever, but it's still pretty good. Also, I don't think the left and the right arrows are the same. Also, I don't think there's any multiplayer, which there totally should be. It's like a weird Guitar Hero back and forth kind of thing, except that the bomb power up ruined battles. I don't know how it hit 50 when it can barely keep up in this one. I don't know if it's like... I call it drift. I don't know if it's drift. Don't know. It's doing okay. If we can beat the whole game, I'll be happy. I'll consider that a win. They were able to produce new, uh, three, three to four new songs and like new backgrounds and animations and everything in a week. Uh, for each week, I think that's pretty good. It's, I think it's admirable. Three, two, one, go! Ooh. Wait. I feel like it missed it. I don't know if it's like a weird frame drop or whatever, but I feel like it missed one, but still counted it. Oh. Nope, couldn't quite hit 30. We're getting faster now. I'm, I'm getting a little concerned. Yeah, or around for this, around 20, it seems to just break. I didn't know that she cries when uh, you make a mistake. That's uh, that's it's weird. The one in twenty is pretty good. That's that's like what five percent? Five percent failure rate. Well, I mean, if we're talking about like hardware, that's pretty bad. But you know, a ninety-five on a test, it's pretty good. I'm I'm more of a B plus kind of guy. You know what I mean? I get. You should aspire for the best you can go, and I'm not saying that, like, oh, I hit 85, it's time to stop, but, you know, <laughs> at some point, you just gotta be okay with where you are, and, you know, I'm okay with that. Does that mean I've stagnated? Probably. Uh, so you probably shouldn't follow my example, but... <laughs> it's You have to decide whether or not it's worth the effort to continue, right? Um, and I, so even to get it on topic of this, right, why, why, is it stuck? Hello? Everything good? Go right over there? <laughs> oh, please don't crash. No. All right, we're good. But like in terms of improvements for this, right, I could in theory break up all the different loops I have into different scripts and run them all at the same time. And this way, uh, I don't actually know how often it pulls for, uh, for my, I don't know how like each loop goes through because it has to go through a bunch of logic so there's it's a little complicated i would have to like benchmark it and i kind of don't want to really go that far into debugging i just want my script to work damn it <laughs> but um i could optimize it in that way but then i'd have to like either write a script to launch all the scripts at once or i'd have to like launch them all by hand and doing things by hand okay i got in, I, I almost got in trouble at <laughs> work for this uh Doing things by hand is for suckers. So if you can have a computer do something for you, you should let the computer do it because there are things the computer can't do that are that are more valuable for humans to do, at least right now, right? But almost everybody I, I, I talk to about this interpreted it as, I think hard work is for suckers, and that's not true, okay? Hard work is how you get ahead. I do not think hard work is for suckers. But I do think doing things by hand is for suckers. Why would I do my taxes in, in like on paper, right? When I can have a computer more or less fill it out for me, right? With, with just prompting me. It saves time, it saves energy, it, it reduces mistakes. You should never be doing things by hand if you can avoid it. Uh, that doesn't mean that you should like try to put your work off on other people. And it certainly doesn't mean that you shouldn't work hard. I just, just want to put that out there.
Hard work is very rewarding when you succeed, and sometimes you just need to not maybe work harder, but just work a little longer to get what you need. So, I mean, you didn't see me fix the programming, but these these fixes to get the script to this took like two or three hours. I, I don't know if I'm not that smart or if it just required a lot of testing, but uh, can we do one more? What do we got? Yeah, we're at 10 minutes. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay. Oh, the... Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? Oh, uh, these notes are kind of fast. The MC Hammer dancers in the back. See, like the, like the teeth, right? The gums. Look at the gums. But I'm happy it's not a bean mouth. I probably shouldn't complain. I'm happy it's not a bean mouth. Ooh, ooh. Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. The bar is still in our favor. And from my testing, as far as I can tell, the misses have to do with whether or not it's interpreting a pixel is in a particular place, and not, uh, like, not with the button presses, because as soon as it sees it, it presses it faster than any human possibly can. I think I can get uh, 200, um, 200 clicks per second, or 200 button presses or whatever, which is like uh, one, so I don't know how many milliseconds that is, but it's, it's pretty good, okay? I cannot click 200 times a second. So, it has to do with the interpre interpretation of what pixel's on the screen. Um, it's, in this case, it's locked to the window, not the screen, so I could, like, move the window around, and it would still be able to tell what the correct pixel is. I just can't make it bigger, which is a mistake that I made. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe I'll make the background more interesting, I don't know. That'll be fun to do in editing, I think. I wish the ones didn't look like sevens. It's very confusing. I also like that we're on a limo. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, don't crash, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't... You know, I didn't consider this, but the girlfriend, the one in the middle, is... Uh, her hair is moving to the wind. I didn't... I didn't notice that before. Too busy playing the game, I guess. I'll, not to say that I don't necessarily enjoy lore discussions. If you if you watch the Undertale video, you might get the impression that I don't care for story, and I do. It's just <laughs> so is she like a demon? <laughs> is that is that what this is? Is she from hell? If I'm the main character, am I dating like a succubus or something? Like what what am I doing? I understand the rap battles are an abstraction for proving to her parents or whatever that like I'm a good fit, right? But <laughs> but like. What what implication does this have, right? Why is uh why is everybody singing? <laughs> why is it important I be a good singer? If there are demons in this world, uh, is this like not normal? Uh, I don't know. How come she's not purple? Is the father the the, the guy we fought first? I mean, he's purple. And how come they don't have horns like the other the other guys in the background? All right, we're we're doing pretty good. Yeah, okay. My theory about the the two sides not matching up is definitely correct. You know, maybe I'll cut out the not responding parts. Uh oh, is this? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll find out how, <laughs> how good I did. It's very fast. I'm 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 now growing concerned. But the bar keeps going up, so I, I think we'll be okay. But it's missing a lot. Disappointed. Disappointed in you, son. How could you do this to me? Nah, we're doing okay. What's that? If there's like a really lame saying where it's like, if you aim for the stars and only hit the moon, you still did something incredible. Eh, you know, I, like, I get it, right? 
it's a, it's a try your best thing. It's a, you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Don't forget to brush your teeth and shower every day. Which you should do, by the way. Please shower every day. <laughs> uh, oh no. Okay, yeah, okay, it definitely struggles with triplets. <sighs> That's okay, we're, we're moving back. It's okay, we've gained enough advantage that it's not a problem. Yeah, held notes count for so much on this bar, oh my god. This game needs some balancing. I would make it incredibly hard and basically impossible for a human to do it. Normal people shouldn't play video games. No. <laughs> I mean, you can also turn the difficulty down. I didn't even know there was an easy option. I've also noticed that some of the the depressing happens. Because hmm. you'll notice that the things are glowing. They're usually not supposed to do that unless you hold down the button. So it could be possible that it's the way the loop works. It's depressing and not continuing to press down correctly, which would be a problem. Because it's supposed to be, like, within one millisecond of each other. Well, that was pretty good. All right. I, th I think that's it for this session. Um, next week, we have both parents and, and this guy. All right. See you guys next time.